Hey everybody, welcome back to another die cast review. Today we are taking a look at Eric Almarola's 2021 New Hampshire race win. This is Eric Almarola's third, and if we're being on all honesty, very possibly his final career victory. Um, kind of came out of nowhere. He was actually having an abysmal season up to this point, and then he literally just popped out of nowhere, threw on a win, and then just went right back to frankly not that good so I, I mean that was the only way I could put it like he just won his way into the playoffs he was I believe like 27th in points when this happened so it was really a out of the woodwork kind of thing but um it was a wild day I mean you had the rain come early um and under green and uh Hamlin and Bush end up crash or sorry not, I think it was Bush and Truex end up slightly crashed um late in the race Christopher Bell's best car just like this year so I don't know, weird day, but anyway, let's uh, let's start here. I'm going to show the race win card and stuff here first. Here's our race win card. we got Eric Amarola, Foxwood Resorts Casino 301 winner, Loudoun, Hampshire, July 18th, 2021. And, of course, they got the lobster trophy there, nice, huge lobster. Now, as we go to the back of the card here, you can see 3 hours and 7 minutes, 52 seconds. He started 22nd on the day, 293 total laps, number of cautions, 4 for 47 laps. Hmm. Led the final 25 laps and had a margin of victory of 0.697 seconds. Uh, this race was cut short, so I wanted to check the total lap counter. 293. Yep, it was cut eight laps short due to tinted windows. Yeah, we're not going there. <laughs> it was it was literally cut short due to tinted windows. Uh, but here's our race win sticker in black and white. And just for everybody that is looking, we we'll also have the Foxwoods casino 301 pin from new hampshire motor speedway so a uh, very cool uh, event pin to have alongside with it here's our box now the one thing i will say about this car there is only 199 in production for the elites so a very limited number and i highly recommend especially if you like getting guys final career wins this is definitely going to be one that's probably worth the bet um very low production number so it could get very rare or very rare very fast hmm, sorry i had a little yawn there uh but yeah let's go ahead and take a look here so as you look on the left front you can see we do have some race markings there on the tire you can see um not too bad on the front a little bit of rubber buildup and stuff a lot of blue and white confetti uh you can see a dark and light blue and then white are the confetti colors uh it's on the hood you got smithfield up there but uh not too bad but it is there you see the windshield's partially covered here's kind of the neat part it is all over the door you can see it kind of got up here on top of the door and then down there on the base as well um Almarola up there on the name rail with the American flag. Also, you can see on the rear, uh, we do have kind of some burnout marks. Uh, and then again, we do have some confetti just kind of sprinkled in there. Uh, it's on the roof as well. You can see we got our number 10, Smithfield. And then we, again, we got that confetti. Go to the back of the car. You can see we've got um, DIN number 127. So 127 to 199. Yeah, I had to do some math here to make sure that made sense. Um, there's our fuel cell in the back of the car as, long, as well as the spoiler. It should be... Mm, yeah, it is wrong. I just realized that. I had to think about it for a second, but yeah, this is technically the wrong spoiler. It should have been the short spoiler. Now, just for a pro tip for anybody that's interested, you can actually sand off this clear part. It takes a little work, but you could sand that piece off and go down to just the black spoiler. Um, that would be probably about the correct height. Uh, so it is possible you could sand the clear top off, but uh, ethanol ring there. You can see the the back panel here. This is where the black uh, the back bumper plate is mounted. You can see it's very it's all black once you mount it. Uh, we got Smithfield back there. You can see the confetti all along behind the spoiler. Look at all that confetti stuck on there, and just a little bit on the bumper. Uh, we got Smithfield over here on the right side. Some rivets there. Um, you can see our tailpipes over here. A little bit of confetti also made it onto the right side door, but the left side definitely got it a little bit heavier. Uh, obviously, this is actually a paint scheme I really enjoy. I think this pa this uh, Smithfield paint scheme was one of the better ones. Um, so I, I thought this one was pretty cool. I was glad he won in this one and not like um, one of the weirder paint schemes. The first time around, unfortunately, he um, or not first time. 
The first win with Stuart Haas, he won in the Baconator or whatever paint scheme, and it wasn't quite the same one. It is cool that he got a, a you know restricted plate win, but uh, I, I think this one's actually a cooler win just because he was able to get it in the primary paint scheme, and it was a race that wasn't a restrictor plate, so I think it just means more personally. But uh, overall, it's a really cool car. You can see underneath, there's a DIN number. We got the functioning rear suspension, posable front wheels, um, and all that. So sits really nice on the front and uh, pretty nice in the rear. It's a really nice and low-sitting car, so definitely... Um, Definitely a fan of that, but uh, overall, you know, it's above average, but just slightly. It's just a little bit of race detail, good, and a little bit more than your average confetti, also good. So just a real solid race version. Can't can't complain about it there. But uh, anyway, guys, that will pretty much wrap up this diecast review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. Uh, you can check this car out at rasdiecast.com. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say, though. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.